most people will break at least one bone in their lifetime. And apart from the personal impact, the cost on society can be severe. I've broken two bones, but they were simple breaks and just needed to cast a little bit of time. But for more complex breaks, where they're in difficult locations, they may require surgery to stabilise the break and allow it to heal. Most operations to fix broken bones use screws to hold the broken ends together so they can heal. The problem is that screws rely on just friction and tension caused by the thread of the screw. Now think about a screw going into a wall. It's not the most stable way of securing something, particularly if you over tighten and strip the thread. But that's what we've been doing in our bones. And when they fail, not only is it excruciatingly painful, it usually means more surgery and more cost and more risk, and it doesn't always work. So what if there's a better way one that surgeons can incorporate in their existing surgery practices that gives a greater chance of success. That is the problem that Intan and Matt sought to solve, and they took inspiration from something found down at their local hardware. The first thing we did, we went to Bunnings, we looked around for lots of expandable fasteners, and we actually tested them all in sheep bone. And what we found is that they worked pretty well, but there were lots of changes that we could make to make them work better for bone. So Intan, exactly how does the invention work? Basically, the screw just looks, from a surgeon's perspective, it looks just like a typical screw, but then they can insert an additional um, sort of expanding section that can um, increase the area that uh, stops the bone from moving into the body. And this really stops the patients from uh, getting a second surgery or um, the screw cutting out into the bone. So at the moment, if a patient has low quality bone um, because of osteoporosis or they have a complex fracture, Often what will happen is that the fracture will collapse over the screw and the screw will poke into the hip joint. And this means that they have to have a whole new procedure to replace the hip. And we want to stop that by expanding the screw and just holding it in that bone a little bit stronger so it can survive until the bone can heal. We've done bench top testing, we've done animal testing, we've put them in cadavers, and we're now at the stage where we're refining it for manufacturing, ready for a human clinical trial. And what's really exciting about that is that we want to do a trial where we very precisely track the migration of the bone fragment so we can really demonstrate that it is going to be better for patients in the long run. The future for Rex Ortho is really focused on partnering. We've just signed a really amazing deal with the uh, AO Foundation, which is the preeminent uh, orthopaedic surgeon organisation in the world. And we're working with them to co-design a new screw for spine surgery and then we're looking for partners to help us take the FREX, the hip screw, further forward through clinical studies and so on. When you break it down, Rex Ortho has all the ingredients for success. A great team innovating to solve real problems. For more information, go to innovationnation.tv.